when he says it, it's clean. You got to get rid of our ways. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? We got to get rid of our ways. Praise the Lord. If we got to do it God's way. Right. If we don't do it God's way, it ain't go, it's just like they tell them, either you do it my way or hit the highway. Mm -hmm. You know what God will say? Go ye. Go ye. Bye-bye. Go ye. If they don't want to do it this way, let me tell you something. I love this truth. Amen. I thank God for this truth. Amen. And let me tell you something right now. When you get to the place where you don't love this truth and you're not thankful for this truth and you want to do truth, you know what will happen? Go ye. Mm -hmm. That's what God will do. Amen. Uh, we got to love in God, but God wants it his way. That's right. He wants it his way, not, not your way. He said, my ways are higher than your ways. Yeah. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. John, John 16 and 13. Now God will lead us. He will lead us. God has given us the Holy Ghost to lead us. And how's he going to lead us? In the Word. This is what he's going to lead us in, is his word. Praise the Lord. And listen what he said in John 16 and 13. How be it then? How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Talking about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will lead us and guide us into all truth. Praise the Lord. But you know what? Some people don't want God to lead. Mm -mm. They want to lead the Lord. Lord, I want it my way. Lord, I'm going to do it. I know, God, that it says that, Lord, you chose to put your name there. You've chosen this house that your name might be there, but God, I think that we're going to call it something else. That ain't God's way. That's not God's way. Spirit of truth is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever shall hear that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Let me tell you right now, there is so much deception. It's everywhere. The devil has got his ministers. That's what they are. They're transformed into angels of light. The devil's got his ministers. It's unreal. <clears throat> See, what's happened is they've learned they can make money off of religion. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a business now. Yes, it yes. is. It's a job. Mm. Yeah. It's a living. It's a retirement. And guess what? The people, instead of going by the word, they just go up there and they just accept what they tell them. Yep. Oh, they see a place and oh, hey man, over yonder, they don't have to do all of what y'all say you got to do. Uh -huh. Over yonder, why man, the women can yeah. wear their slacks and their pants. Don't have to pay They can tithes. cut their hair. Don't have to pay their tithes. Yeah. And uh, all they got to do is just come and shout. Come worship the Lord. But the Lord said it's in vain. Yeah. Teaching from the doctrines and commandments mm -hmm. of men. Bring your shouting shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put on your shouting shoes. Bring your shouting shoes. <laughs> We're going to dance the house down. Oh, Lord. Is that what God said when we come to the house of God? No. <laughs> no. He said you keep your foot when you come to the house of God and be more ready to hear than to give the 
sacrifice of fools. Praise the Lord. Now the spirit of truth, I want y'all to remember that. The spirit of truth, because I want you to listen, there is a spirit of error. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. A lot of spirits. There's a spirit of truth. Yeah. And there's a spirit of error. Praise the Lord. And it's going to be up to you to come to church and listen to the word of God being preached. And we get this word down in us, the word that we can recognize. Listen to me. The word that we can recognize the spirit of truth from the spirit of error. Yes. You know what happened? This is a way. Well, I'm going to get ahead of myself. Y'all bear with me. We got some word. Praise the Lord. Spirit of truth. Now he's going to guide us to all truth. John 14 and 15. <clears throat> if you love me, keep my commandments. Yeah. Oh, how I love Jesus. And they go out and see him like the devil, live like the devil all week. Yeah. God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And listen. And I will pray to the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Let me tell you right now, a lot of people say they got the Holy Ghost, don't have the Holy Ghost. Yeah, right. And let me tell you something right now, that these people, praise the Lord, that said, hey, come over here, he's over here. Come over here with us. This is your hope. They're going out on the streets and signs and stuff and saying, oh, come worship with us. He's here. The, the hope is here. And you know what? It's a spirit of error. Yeah. It's a spirit of error. It's a spirit of error. It's not the spirit of God. And guess what? They're birthing children. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about spiritual birth of children. But it's not the birth of the spirit of God. It's the spirit of Satan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. They're having children being born. They're cursed children. Their eyes full of adultery. Praise the Lord. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. Same second Peter. Can't say it's from sin. Guess what? They're in adultery. They left the truth. They left God. And they're in adultery. They have an eyes full of adultery, spiritual adultery. Eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin. Beguiling unstable souls. Covetous practice. Curse children. 